Hey, Joyful Journeyer, Anita Adams here, your host. And today I wanna to talk about taking risks and three truths you need to understand when it comes to pursuing your dreams. I know you have a dream. It's probably something big and beautiful and maybe a little scary because it's outside of your comfort zone. Maybe you have an idea for a business that you'd love to start or you wanna write a book Maybe you want to quit your job or retire and spend your days painting landscapes or traveling to exotic places with loved ones. Your dreams could be anything. Dreams, dreams are for the bold because you have to take risks to follow them. They are risky because there are no guarantees that you will ever get to where you set out to be when you follow your dreams. You have to put in time, effort, and often money to follow a dream. And if you don't get to where you want to be, that could be perceived as a, as a big waste of time. Dreams are risky because the path forward may be riddled with obstacles that send you flailing and may make you feel like you are failing. The bigger the dream, the bigger the obstacles that may appear. And of course, more time, effort, and money may have to be invested, upping the ante and risk even more. At this stage of the dream chasing journey, uncertainty and doubt about that very path you are on may creep in like a cold, dense fog wrapping its tendrils of mist around you, chilling you to the bone and casting you deeper into doubt. That's when you may say, I don't want to take this risk anymore. I should give up on this dream. And you feel that, that pull to turn back to familiar ground, to where it's safe. But not you, not you, my fellow joyful journeyer. Because you understand, or will soon understand, three important truths about dream chasing and risk taking. The first truth is that when you follow your dreams, you are actually following what I like to refer to as spiritual breadcrumbs that are leading you to your highest calling. There's no guarantee that you will reach your desired outcome, but what if you land somewhere better? Yeah, somewhere better. Think of your dreams as a, an internal compass guiding you to the, the best version of you and the greatest possibility for your life. Every little dream and stop along the way is that spiritual breadcrumb leading you to a place that is better than you ever imagined. And the only way to this amazing place is by following your dreams. Let me say that another way. The only way you will land where you are meant to be is by following your dreams. And there is a good chance that place will be somewhere different than you initially set out to get to. The second truth is that failure along the journey to any big dream is inevitable. Recognize this as a necessity and change your perspective about your perceived failures. Look at each failure as a learning opportunity and continue to fail forward. Failures are in fact stepping stones to your success. The next time you feel you failed at something in pursuit of your dreams, fist pump the air and shout, yeah, I'm growing, I'm getting better. Our greatest, our greatest growth comes from these times of perceived failures. Finally, that third truth is you don't need to see the whole path forward to your dreams. You just need to see the single next step to take. The path to your dreams is not a straight line. It's full of bends and turns and valleys and mountains to climb. There will be times when you will feel like you are lost in the clouds. But even in the clouds, you can always see the step in front of you. That's all you ever need to see. 
I get how scary that is. Not seeing the full path ahead of you, not, not fully understanding how you are going to get to your destination. Our job as dream chasers is to let go of the how and simply focus on the single next step. I share all of this with you from a wealth of personal experiences. I've always followed my dreams and they continuously lead me somewhere better than I imagine. I constantly fail, fail forward and grow. While I don't necessarily fist pump the air in the moment of my perceived failures, I can look back at each one with deep gratitude for the lessons learned and how they have propelled me on this journey. And I do experience fear and uncertainty and often feel lost in the clouds as I traverse the mountain of dreams. And yet I, I recognize that I only need to see the single next step in front of me to move forward. I often have to remind myself of this truth though. So joyful journeyer, take some risks. Allow your internal compass to guide you. Embrace failures as stepping stones to success. And just focus on the single next step. As you continue to climb the mountain of your dreams, remember the clouds of doubt and uncertainty will lift and the view from the top will be extraordinary. All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode, Joyful Journeyer. If you did, please rate the show and leave a review. Those ratings and reviews go a long way to help us reach more people. That's it for now and we'll, we'll catch you next time.